Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Bachelor of Engineering program at Carleton University. In this video, we will review how the first year course registration process works for students who have advanced standing with transfer credits and do not have an ESLA requirement. By the end of this presentation, you should understand how to register for courses and who to contact for help if you need it. Our goal is to ensure a smooth registration process for all new students, so a little pre-planning will help ensure that your class schedule is finalized well in advance of classes starting in September. Firstly, we'd like to introduce the first year support team. The first year support team prepares the first year engineering block schedules, offers registration assistance, provides academic advising for all first year engineering students, and can offer guidance as you prepare to begin your engineering studies. This team will be your go-to contact leading up to and throughout your first year in engineering. Everything from school supplies, dates and deadlines, meeting prerequisites, registration changes, and finding academic resources, the first year engineering support team is here to help. Today, we will be talking about the registration process for new first year students, what block schedules are, important dates and deadlines, and where you can go for help. If you are a student with advanced standing, that means you've previously completed credits that may count towards your engineering program. Because the first year blocks will automatically include all of your mandatory first year courses, aside from electives, you may need to make some changes so that you do not repeat courses you've already received credit for. Registration for new first year students will open between the dates shown on the screen. You will be assigned a time ticket by the registrar's office. This is when your registration portal opens. Your time ticket will be available for you to see in step one of the registration menu in Carleton Central. We strongly encourage all students to register for fall and winter terms as soon as their time ticket opens. You can review your transfer credits granted by going to My Transfer Credit under the Student Records section in Carleton Central. Once you've viewed your transfer credits, you can then view your first year block by going to Build Your Timetable slash Registration under the Registration section of Carleton Central. Please note, your assigned block cannot be altered. The first year blocks are designed to place you in sections with others in the same stream and ensure that everyone can register without conflicts. If you have received transfer credits for any of your first year courses, you will register in your first year block and then drop the courses you've already received credit for. This will ensure that you've registered for your remaining mandatory first year courses. Please note, your dropped courses will still appear on your worksheet in Carleton Central due to the block, but you will not be registered in them. Registered courses will always say registered on your worksheet. Be aware that the block schedule does not include your electives. To determine whether or not you need to add an elective to your first year schedule, you need to reference your program progression map. It's also important to note that there are two kinds of electives taken in first year, basic science electives and complementary studies electives. Note that not every program requires both. Program progression maps and the elective lists can be found on our first year registration website linked in the description. If you cannot see your transfer credits under your student records, you can also view your transfer credits by running your audit on Carleton Central. If you have any questions regarding your transfer credits, please contact your admissions officer. Here's a simple demonstration on registering for your first year block. When you first look at your Carleton Central, you will see the page on the screen. To check your transfer credits, see My Transfer Credit. If you do not see your requested transfer credits, or you have more credits to request, please contact your admissions officer directly. On the screen is an example of what you may see on the page. Once you see which courses you've received credit for, go back to the main page and proceed to build your timetable slash registration, then select the fall term. On this page, you can search for additional classes such as electives, but for now, let's proceed to view worksheet at the bottom of the page. Finally, here you will find your pre-populated worksheet with your first year block. This is an example of a software engineering block in the winter term. Yours will look different from this. You will see that the first year block includes all of the mandatory first year courses, even if you have transfer credits. This worksheet does not mean you are registered. You still need to register by clicking proceed to registration on the bottom of the page. After you click Proceed to Registration, you will be brought to the Add or Drop Classes page. Navigate to the bottom and click Submit to register for your classes. Once you've clicked Submit, the status on the left-hand column will have changed to Registered. 
This means that you successfully registered in those courses. Next, go back to the main page of Carleton Central and select add slash drop classes to withdraw from the courses you already have credit for. Find the courses you have received credit for. In the action column, select drop financial from the drop down menu. Be sure to withdraw from all components of the course, such as lectures and tutorials. Click Submit at the bottom to withdraw. Once you've registered, you can verify your registration is complete by either 1. Running your audit. This will show how all your classes fit and if anything is out of order. We recommend that you run your audit after any registration changes have been made. Or 2. By viewing your timetable. Instructions are on screen. It's important to be aware of some key dates for new students. Our team has prepared a checklist of need-to-do activities leading up to classes starting in September. You can view this information on our first year website as well. The link is in the description. In summary, here are the key takeaways to make note of. One, be sure to check your time ticket on Carleton Central. All engineering students are assigned a block schedule and they cannot be changed. Two, check what transfer credits you've received and if they can be used towards your engineering program. Three, register for your courses when your time ticket opens. Register for both your fall and winter courses as soon as your time ticket opens. Four, check your program progression map to see if you need to add any electives. The approved complementary studies and basic science electives can be found on our website, linked in the description. Five, review your registration and verify you are registered in all your required courses, including any electives if required. Six, keep an eye on your Carleton email over the summer months. This is the only way that the first year support team and other university officials will communicate with you. Congratulations, you've completed your registration. For more how-to videos and resources, please see the website linked in the description. Our team will also be sending out regular emails with registration reminders and FAQs over the summer months. Check your email for these announcements as they contain useful information to help you get started on your academic experience in engineering here at Carleton University. If you have any further questions, contact the first year support team at ecoursupport at carleton.ca.